Now last week we had a few rain days that kind of delayed us and we couldn't scrap every day. Couldn't get out to the trailer project. But in between the rain, I had a chance to clean up a little bit of scrap. I always like to start out with electric motors so the copper pile can get stacked up. The night before, we were gathering up a few more goodies from the trailer site. Mostly steel, we got an old washing machine. I know it's at least 100 to 120 pounds, so that'll help out on the steel weight. But I know if we want a profitable run to the scrapyard, we need some copper. So I worked on separating some of this copper to sweeten up the deal. And we had a plenty of unfinished stuff to work on. Some of the wire we brought in was insulated, but you have to sacrifice a little on the price to get the scrap load together to bring it in. We had a few small radiators from an air conditioner we tossed in too. And we had some miscellaneous aluminum we tossed in the truck also. An old filing cabinet and a couple barrels of steel from all the motors and a few other odds and end pieces we had laying around. We had a few motors that had aluminum windings in. We had to separate them out. Now, we didn't know that the price wasn't very good to bring them in like that. So next time we're gonna know to toss them in with the steel. Now we're gonna head up to the scrapyard and try to cash this out and see what we can get. Uh, you can see there's a puddle of water. It had been raining the day before. It was putting a little delay on our scrapping and tearing apart the trailer projects, but we managed to get a load together and bring it up here to try to make some money to get a few bills paid. And this place is always busy. They got something going on. If you're new to our channel, make sure you click on that subscribe and like button and hit that bell for notifications for updated future videos. Now we just finished unloading the steel. We're heading up to where they bring in the aluminum and copper and dropping that off. We had a pretty good pile of insulated wire and a bucket of aluminum and a couple of motors. But like I said earlier, we found out about the electric motors that they don't pay very much. If you don't tear them apart, you're better off just to throw them in with the steel because I think they only brought five cents a pound and it don't make a lot of sense, but from now on, we just toss them into the steel to, to get the price of steel. Hopefully with the rain clearing up, we'll be able to get back out to the trailer and get a few more projects done out there and get some more scrapping videos put up. Now there's what we come up with at the end of the day, which is not a bad load. We each made a little bit over a hundred bucks each. We had to put a little time and effort, but all in all, it's not too bad. I want to thank everyone for watching and subscribing and we'll see you in the next one.